video I'm going to show you uh, an algorithm that you can use to create any flip-flop from a flip-flop that you do have. So uh, the first thing we'll do is create sti state diagrams for both of them. We'll draw a box diagram, I don't know if that's the exact terminology, but that's just what I'm going to call it, of the desired circuit. We're going to create a k-map of the desired flip-flop and an excitation table for the flip-flop that we do have and then we'll create a, a this is supposed to be a blank K map with the same inputs as the desired flip flop and um, blah blah blah. You'll you'll see how it works. Okay, so step one, state diagrams for both flip flops. In this example, we're going to create a um, JK flip flop from an SR flip flop. So I'm going to create state diagrams of JK flip flop. It has two states, 0 and 1. And the state diagram looks something like this. Now these things, probably not a bad idea to just memorize them or have them somewhere that's really easy to look up. I don't quite have them memorized yet, but, um, well, not too far from it. 1D and D1. Now we want to have the state diagram of the flip-flop that we actually have, which is an SR flip-flop. It also has two states. And in fact, it's quite similar to the JK flip-flop. It has two inputs. Um, it's a little bit more limited in what it can do because it doesn't allow for toggling. Okay, so part one is done. Now we'll draw a little box diagram of the circuit. This is really mostly just to help us understand exactly what we're doing keep us focused. We'll, we're actually going to draw it again a little bit bigger later on and we'll actually design the circuit. We're trying to create a JK flip-flop. We'll have a single output and, and, and its complement and it's going to be comprised of an SR flip-flop. So inside it's going to have an SR flip-flop and those outputs will wire up to the Q and the Q naught. Okay. Part two is done. Now we're going to draw a K map of the desired flip flop and an excitation of the flip flop that we do have. So the desired flip flop is a JK flip flop. So we want to draw the um, K map of the flip flop. And this is a uh, flip. This is a K map that would create the next state equation. Okay, and so this is the present state down here. And then we have our standard K map. And it looks something like this. And I could take the time, uh, but I'm not going to in the video, to just create this state map by looking at, I'm sorry, this um, next state equation map by looking directly at the JK flip-flop, right? So I could say, look, if, uh, if I'm in zero, the state zero, how do I get to one? That's what this is. Everywhere there's a one here. I've either gone to one or stayed at one. So if my present state is zero, how do I get to one? Well, the only way to get to one is to have j be a one and k be whatever it wants to be. So if my present state is zero, then um, 
j needs to be a 1, and k can be whatever it wants. So here are the two places where j is 1, right here and right here, and k can be whatever it wants. So that's why the 1s are there. Okay? Or you can just have these on hand and look them up really quickly. The second part of part 3 is to create a um, an excitation table of the flip-flop that we do have. So when I say excitation table, I mean we want to know given uh, present state and the desired next state, what do we need the input variables to be? And this is for the SR flip-flop. So we need to set two inputs. Okay, and I'll grab this directly from the excitation table. There are four options for the um, state and next state. And let's see, if we're going from 0 to 0, then we want 0D. If we're going from 0 to 1, we want 1, 0. If we're going from 1 to 0, from 1 over to 0, we want 0, 1. And if we're going from D to 0, I'm sorry, from 1 to 1, we want D, 0. Okay, so that's part 3. Uh, now this is supposed to say blank K map here. So it says create a blank K map with the same inputs as the desired flip-flop for each input of the flip-flop that you do have. How many inputs does an SR flip-flop have? It has two. So we're going to create two blank flip-flops, or I'm sorry, K-maps that have the same inputs as the one that we want. So we want JK and QP. And that is going to be for S. That's going to give us an equation for S. And then we're going to create the same kind of K map that's going to represent the R equations. Okay, and now it works like this. You want to essentially answer the question, um, I know that I want this JK flip-flop to act in a certain way. What do I need to do to S and R to get the outputs to act like the JK flip-flop? So what you do is you say for the s for this one here if i switch from 0 a present state of 0 to a present state of 0 what does s need to do you go over to the excitation table and you say well to go from 0 to 0 s must be 0 so you put a 0 down here same thing here from 0 to 0 it, and the answer will be the same. To go from 0 to 0, S must be 0. To go from 0 to 1, 0 to 1, we want to have a 1. So this becomes a 1. And to go from 0 to 1, again, this becomes a 1. Now if we're in a 1 state and we want to stay in the 1 state, then S is a don't care. If we're in a 1 state and we want to switch to a 0 state, 1 to 0, then S needs to be 0. And so that will be the first, that will be the first um, uh, equation for the S input. Now let's look at the R input. 
Okay, this is the R input. To go from 0 to 0, 0 to 0, we use a don't care for R. From 0 to 0, we use a don't care. To go from 0 to 1, 0 to 1, we use a 0. 0 to 1, we use a 0. Now, here we go from 1 to 1. 1 to 1. Again, we use a zero. One to zero means that R needs to be a one. So R is going to be one there, and it's also going to be one here, and then it'll be zero again. And so from this, we get two equations using our k-map minimizations, we get um, not qp and j, and we get uh, qp and k. So if I were to take and draw that diagram again, Here's my SR. Here's my Q not Q. And here's my JK. My flip flop is going to work like this. I'm going to have uh, a Q. I'm going to have the J and the not Q feed into the S. With an AND gate. And I'm going to have the Q and the K feed into the R. And that's how you design a